What's up, YouTube? Same ish, different day. This is your man, Domination. Skills on the Sticks, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a domination video. Um, I'm gonna try to basically, you guys are gonna know a little bit of what this video is about by, just by the title, but I'm not gonna give it away. Um, if you guys are good sports, you won't fast forward and you'll just watch the video. Um, just check it out, guys. You know, I don't upload uh, um, more than like seven minute gameplays or six minute videos because I like to just, uh, you know, save your time. But I promise that this is a good gameplay if you guys stick, you know, stick around to the end of it. You'll see me die a lot, which um, some of you guys will, will like. <laughs> and, um, I just want to let you guys know that uh, when it comes to me, when it comes to me, the most important thing to me is winning. Uh, kill to death. I mean, not, I'm not talking about my win loss percentage. Uh, I don't really base people off of that because people could have bad teammates or some people play more free for all than others. So my win win loss ratios don't mean anything to me, and kill to death ratios aren't don't say the whole story either. Um, I don't ever base someone off their kill to death ratio. I base them off, you know, just playing playing against them in, in all types of game modes, you know, domination, search, just seeing how good they are. Uh, kill to death, like I say, just like win loss, really means little, very little to me. Uh, but in this video, you guys are going to see me die a lot. You guys are going to see me get a, a couple of, a little bit more kills, almost a, a, a 1.5 KD, I believe I get in this one. Uh, my This video is just about, uh, you know, me, I like to go for the win. Uh, let me just start off by saying uh, I'm a very competitive person no matter what I like to go for the win whenever possible that means if I'm chasing a, a chem strike uh, but I see that we're it's getting down to the wire and I need to start making moves then that's what I'm gonna do if I'm on a kill streak as far as assault uh, I might play it a little safe depends on how it's going but when it comes down to it I cannot stand to lose um, it's just a way that I've, I know a lot of guys are like this but it's just some a way that my dad had made me uh, when I was a kid. It, it would just I would get like you know how you guys feel like you're gonna cry. It wouldn't be like I'm gonna cry, but it would be like a it's just a big golf ball in my throat. Whenever I'm about to lose or I lose, I'm a I'm not I wouldn't say I'm a sore loser because I don't I you know I give people respect. I tell them good game, but just losing is a very big thing to me, and I hate to lose. I'll do whatever I can in my power, even if I have to go even. Um, kill to death ratio will not matter to me if winning is on the line. That's First and foremost, I just want to let you guys know that that's what I'm all about. I'm all about winning. Um, so with that being said, here, of, of course, as you guys can see the score, I'm sure there's been bigger uh, comebacks in Call of Duty history, but this one is pretty nasty right here. These guys, I really wanted to win, and I started giving up my lives a lot because these guys were talking a bunch of trash for about three games um, prior to this one. They had beaten us the first game, but only because we had some pubs, some pub kids on our team that went like... Um, maybe like 3 and 25 and also I think another one was like 2 and, and 30 uh, so it was basically like a 3 on 6 the other guy went like a little under negative so it was like a 3 on 6 and um, th and so like we didn't really care, care about the first game that we lost to them but these guys were just off the walls with like so much like racial slurs and, and if you guys I'm sure you guys have encountered people like this it's just the best thing in the world when you play people like this is just to shut them up by gameplay action you know let them talk whatever they want um, and just time, you know, in the game, we're gonna we're gonna mark you guys. It's gonna be on it, and so that's what I was telling them. I was just letting my gameplay do the talking because these are the type of guys that don't even listen. They just talk and talk and talk, and then he has this little henchman that think he's so funny. You know, the little butt lickers that he has, and they want to just they just want to laugh at everything he says, even though he'll say stupid stuff. They just want to laugh and laugh and laugh, right? So the best way, of course, to combat these guys is just to let your gameplay do the talking. Mute them if you have to in the lobby. I like to unmute them because I like to hear their ridiculous reactions once I start slaying them. But this video is uh, is gonna be it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be about never giving up. And like I said here, my pride have a lot of pride also in my gameplay. And I I just I, what I really wanted to do was beat these guys. So the score here is 96 136. Um, a lot of people would have given up by now. They would have said, you know what, it's going downhill. I'm not going to worry about uh, winning the game or capturing B. Because as you guys know on, on this map, get once you lose B, and if it's already late like this, you, you're not going to get B back. It's, it's a pretty tough task to do to get B on this map. So a lot of people would just give up. They would start going for their kill streaks. They would start playing more conservative, start worrying about their kill to death ratio. And um, that's not what I did here. Right here, I, I was, you know, I'm not going to let these guys talk about me like that. Of course, they came out with the racial slurs and everything like that, you know, which is just too much. I mean, some some trash talk like, you know, you're bad, kid, or whatever, here and there is, is okay. But 
once you start talking about race or whatever, like that's just personally, in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't get to me, I, I you know, but it's just why, you know, we're all, well, not all of us, but most of us are from the same country, and um, I really feel like just it's people that are sore losers, and this, and it would be cool, you know, I feel like it's been cleaned up a little bit from past Call of Duties, but it would be nice if people were just actually more like good game and stuff, you know. Um, but all that aside, here, still down by 30 points. It's getting really late in the round. Um, I continue to die a lot because I, de I decided to go with the SC2010 with the uh, muzzle brake. And so for that, I paid for it by people knowing where I was from the other team. So, you know, I've kind of hurt myself there. As you guys know, I prefer to run with the silencer for the most part just so I can stay off the radar and get my and get the jump on my opponent. But uh, here I didn't do that. I was just using the SC2010. And when I use the SC, I, I prefer to use it with muzzle brake just because I feel like when I use silencer, I get just... I get pwned too much or I, people are always turning the corner on me and I'm never getting that kill. So right here, you know, we just decided, you know, we're going to we're gonna stand up to these guys. We're going to do everything we can. I'm, I don't care if I die every time I go on B. I'm going to get this flag. I'm going to do whatever I can to catch up. And then right here, we start cutting it from 30. Now we're down to 20. Okay, we're doing, we're doing good on B. Uh, you know, I'm sure these guys, they were getting really nervous. They were yelling a lot when I would kill them. Um, and it was, it was coming down to it. And... We just, we, our big focus, of course, as you guys know, just keep B. Uh, these guys tried to flank us a couple times because they knew that B wasn't working. So they decided to go for A a couple of times as you, as I think they're going for it. No, they're going for C. Okay, yeah, so you'll see them start to go for A. Uh, we cut it down to 12 here. From that huge deficit earlier, I believe it was almost 50, well, was 50 points. Um, to just, to come all the way back and, and, uh, and get this close was, it was really awesome feeling. Of course, those guys were really pissed off. And, um. I just want I want to let this play. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but my main message here is just to never give up, no matter what, until the fat lady sings or until you see 200 uh, on the scoreboard. Just always stick with it. Right here, they they had neutralized B, and and then they had taken A from us. And my teammates were all confused. They didn't know if they should go for B or for A, and and it was just it was a huge mess because I only had two people in my party with me, and the other three were just you know some guys that I don't even think they had mics. So it was really hard to communicate with them. Uh, here it is. They're only 25 points away. We're still 50 points away, and it's getting down to it here. It's do or die. Um, you know what's what's gonna happen here, and, and what I always like to do is, in everything that I do, is just never give up, guys. Uh, you can always turn it around, and no matter what. So, since you guys have watched this much, I'm pretty much gonna tell you guys, you know, what happens here down towards the end actually I'm just gonna I'm gonna skip what happens here I'm just gonna tell you guys thank you for watching my video I'm not gonna tell you what happens actually I changed my mind I'm gonna tell you thanks for watching my video guys make sure you subscribe to me so you guys can be entered into my free uh, my free shirt giveaway I might have one next week uh, let me know if you're interested in getting a shirt I'm gonna get the price pretty soon uh, I know I had put it up for 23 but I, I know I'm gonna get another estimate just to see um, if that's gonna uh, still be the case and then uh, if you guys let me know if you want one, that way you can reserve a size for yourselves because I'm only going to get about 50 of them. And I want to make sure that, you know, if you want to make sure you want to get one, then make sure you DM me or hit me up on Facebook so that I can write your name down. And then we'll hash out everything from there. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I'll have my handle in the description below. I'll have my gamer tag for my PS4 and my Xbox One. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not on last gen. I don't have PS3 or Xbox 360. Um, so right here I guess I'll start to tell you guys what I'm doing here it's 193 to 180 uh, 194 look if you guys just pay attention to the score uh, it's pretty much it looks over uh, it would be the, the main point here and then I decided you know I'm not standing up for this we're down we need 15 points they only need four I'm gonna try to make a big time play and I'm gonna try to get this recap I told my teammates right here make sure you guys watch a they're gonna go for a stick on to a look at here Three points, and we still need all these. We triple caps them, guys, and we—it was just—it was an awesome feeling to just. We lost. Oh, okay, here we go. We lost a. We're just all the way down to the wire. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was pretty clutch. It, right here at the end, it gets 199, 199. And if you guys don't know, if you have two flags and it's 199, 199, you get—you definitely get the W. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Skills on the Sticks. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm on.